alive. Yay. Okay. So check some volume settings real quick. Your chat not work at all. Um I don't know. Yeah. I don't see it. Oh, that time I do. Last time it said couldn't connect, so I'm not real sure. But uh sweet. So tell me if this is too loud. I'm gonna turn up the audio a little. You may have to hear yourself. This is my buddy Jake, he's a fellow developer. Oh crap, can we show your stuff, Jake? I mean Yeah no, it's fine. I didn't think about that. Okay. Oh you got a big delay. Oh yeah. That sounds cool. Weird thumb right there. Well, I can hear you anyway, so... Yeah, you could just mute that part. I'm gonna have some music going, I just didn't want to... I don't know if the music's gonna be as loud as you, or louder. I get it down more than normal. Um, I'm not that loud. We good? I think we're good. It's whatever. I like this. Uh, oh, I hate the sound of my own voice. <laughs> okay, so mute the stream. <laughs> Just as long as the music and you aren't like, you know, fighting each other and or deafening people, you know. All right, so I am gonna be doing something different instead of code. That's getting boring. I'm setting up uh, some uh, camera rest stuff. These still learning the post processing junk, all the new changes in 2019. So I was just messing with depth of field. I think it looks nice to have that background blur a little. So that's what you'll see down here. I'm just checking this on and off. And then, you know, we got the bloom and stuff. We need the bloom. I maybe have it a little too high. I mean, yeah. People are like, oh, there's lightsabers in the game. Well, not really. I just have the intensity up to it. <laughs> so this little demo scene is for spells and such. Very cool. We're going to uh, mess about in here. I just found this torch that's really cool. So I prefab that. And it came with the, the pack, actually. So if we turn it to night and you frame on that. Okay, really? Really? Is that what you gotta do? Uh, yeah, that's that's a pretty sweet torch. Well, let's turn off that collider, maybe, huh? This guy, Crypto, is just freaking good at this stuff. Mm, there it is. So you can kind of see this a little better, but look at that. Beautiful. Very nice. So yeah, uh, doing that, and my buddy Jake here, he's got this, I'm just going to show the hangouts here, he's got this awesome, yeah, I guess it's a 2D side-scroller, is that fair to say? Yeah, it's a side-scroller shooter. It's uh, pretty close to done, right? So, be coming out on mobile soon. And it's like um. a, I don't know if you want to give the little pitch, or you want to just wait, but... Figured I'd show them. It looks pretty cool. I don't really know what to say about it, to be honest. Eh, well, a, you're like a mercenary, right? And you kind of, sort of, you, you go to the black market, you buy guns, you upgrade stuff, and you, you can climb and crouch, and the lighting's pretty interesting. Like, it's like a 3D, 2D blend. I, I think it looks really good. If you want to run through a level, show the peoples. Do it up. Or is it ready? Oh, yeah, you got fire of the server. So he also uses Smart Fox, as you can see. In fact, he's been teaching me some stuff about it. <laughs> Wait, what? Of course, my son will start crying now. Oh, look at that. That's some really clean UI, man. Like, I think I need to switch to, that's Text Mesh Pro, right? Uh, just the only things that are is the titles of these phones. Yeah, my fonts are, Mmm, make So I need to I need to switch over. I just don't know how that's gonna 
or if that's going to interfere with NGUI. I haven't updated NGUI in a while. See, I, I really like that background lighting and the depth that you get from seeing the background. Let me see if I can make it bigger over here. Very cool. The climbing and stuff. I think it's pretty damn unique. And what's the... It's a deathmatch option, right? That's optional. Team deathmatch domination. It's way cool, I think. And then uh, he's just setting up the timer. Um, what's the timeout? Like, what'd you say, 10 minutes? 10 minutes in match, yeah. Nice. Mmm. Mmm. What's that 0% mean? That D? Those are objective points or something? Oh, yes. A, B, C, and D. Nice. Smith Industry. That's, that's a pretty good name. Probably because it's my last name. It's pretty good. My, uh, state of birth on it as well, yeah. Oh, does it? Ha! <laughs> nice. That's an important one as well. You used to use Smith as the last name, just generically. Huh? Sometimes people actually ask me, is that really your last name? Yeah, unfortunately it is. I mean, it's like it's such a... No, oh, it is? For real? I thought you, I thought you yeah, told me it wasn't. I do it because I didn't have the family name. Oh, okay. That's right. Yeah, so I switched over. I like those briar thorn looking things in the background. And it was like Felix did majority of the model work in the background, right? Done it all. Nice. It's coming together good. He basically done all the environment. See, I am not sure how loud that music is. I'm going to turn it down just a hair. Okay. Anywho, we'll flip back and forth between what Jake's doing and what I'm doing. Oh, thank you. I'm sorry, guys. I'm so horrible. Oh, it's Chris. What's up, buddy? Yeah, I was going to hop in the game and uh, run around with you, and then, you know, I thought, well, I got to get some stuff done. So t today, the plan is just uh, a couple minor things that I wanted to straighten out and then I'm gonna work on some armor and get uh, get some pieces kind of set up I'll go over that in a second um, but there was the depth of field thing I just I had it on prior to the upgrade and I forgot to put it back on I like it um, so whatever I'll eventually put options in there so people can take uh, those settings on or off like I didn't even think about it somebody mentioned motion blur to make some kind of nauseous and I didn't even think about that but I just took it out for now until I make a GUI option so one thing I just realized let me so learning the post-processing I uh, was under the impression that you are supposed to make I want to say that that you're supposed to put a collider on your post effects object no no <laughs> so that's only if you want to use it in a certain way so i have this box collider on the camera right there and what i just realized i was hitting the target dummy in game and i was standing let's say here and the target dummy was over here and this was in the line of fire so it said I couldn't couldn't hit the target. It was silly. So we're just going to turn that off for now. You can actually tell it to ignore layers, which I might... I mean, that is something I should probably do. Let me take a peek real quick. It might be easy. Uh, I'd be under attacks. <laughs> not player, player combat. And then I did... Oh, is it... I might have put it in targeting. That would make sense. Uh, line of sight. Okay, yeah, I did put it in there. Mm, we can do some bit shifting to filter it out. Let's see if I did that, though. Nah. We'll just disable it for now. And I'll think about it. Anywho, let's get to some, some modeling. 
And later, I'm probably going to work on that uh, fleshy dungeon that I streamed like two weeks. More than two weeks ago. It's been a while. Um, I had a, a friend helping on that, and it's coming along pretty good, so I might be able to get that out and playable by, I'm hoping by Monday, it just depends. It depends on what enemies I end up going with. So anywho, let's, uh, let's get back on this. So I, I have this basic armor set. Uh, let's right click, select objects, and you can use this to isolate. By the way, Jake, I kind of make them like tutorial videos, I guess. <laughs> Because I know there's a lot of people that want to learn game dev, and I figure if I just say what I'm doing while I'm doing it, it might help some people learn, I don't know. But yeah, this little button, and I am using an old outdated Maya, so it might be in a different place, but I put a script in to make it so I can do it with the Z key. But yeah, that is like some really, really basic stuff, and I wanted it really basic as like an underlying, um, armor that you build on top of so that's kind of essentially what I'm doing and I found this uh, pretty nice character off of Mixamo which I don't want to pull it back up um, well I might be able to show you just so you can see where it came from but I'm going to show you how I set things up because as a solo dev you really you got to get resourceful and I've seen some people in chat talking about, oh, that's a copy-paste asset from some other game. Well, that's how it is. We're not big companies. We don't have a lot of money. So we got to do what we got to do. And if it, honestly, if it weren't for taking that approach, then I wouldn't... I'd be another couple of years out. I mean, obviously, I want uh, unique assets, but you got to juggle those things. Because, I mean, 300,000 lines of code is not going to write itself. And that's what's going to make your game work. You can have all the pretty shiny things you want. And all the houses and a whole city. But if you got no code, you got no game. So, that's my two cents on that topic for now. Jake knows I can get rambling on that one. <laughs> so, you can see uh, I pulled this chick from here and that one that we just saw and um, they're just kind of decent quality but I I saw there was a, a new one and I thought hey let's check that one out and I grabbed that one too that one's pretty cool so I did make majority of uh, our characters uh, armor like I made the whole character I made the female the male and the female and I made a lot of the armor but then I got to a point where I was like, man, I'm going to be doing this for ages, for the rest of my life, if I don't find a faster way. So this is what I call kit bashing, where you buy two kits or you get two kits. I mean, big companies do this. They hire one team to make um, weapons, and then they hire another team to make armor, and then they'll bash them up together. Maybe there was a cool skull on the armor, and they'll put it with the sword or whatever. That's just what you do. You you bash things up to make new things. And there's really no difference. It's like you can pay an independent contractor to make you say this, or you could buy it from the asset store. It's the same difference. It, it's just how you look at it. So I think people take that a little too seriously. And the bottom line is all that stuff, all that content, is not something you're ever going to get to experience unless somebody does something with it. So anywho, this is what I grabbed, and I, I just liked kind of the, the bone style, and that, that I really liked. So I grabbed that, and Mixamo is great if you're de uh, developing a game. You got animations and some nice starter characters and stuff. So we're going to mash up my uh, basic shapes for Under Armour with some of this. And so far I started with the boot. So I took the boot from this dude, and then I just had to push and pull and move it around. And mainly I just need to make sure that the seams fit, 
and then I can integrate it in the game. I still have to go to my rig, uh, skin this to the skeleton, and then paint the skin weights, which anybody who knows about that, <laughs> you know, that's fun. But yeah, I was playing around with this piece, so I mirrored it over here. It looks pretty cool already. And then I was thinking we could use it as a shoulder, like just something to make it cooler. So I'm going to mess with these, get those fitting. And basically all you really got to do once you get uh, to this kind of point, we can grab this and this. Let me save where I'm at in case I goof up. And then we can combine that. And then we could take that one and... Is this still skin? Okay, it's not. It's just all locked. So when these are gray, that means it's locked. So we will go like this. Select all of those. Isolate and grab all of these. Right click. And I think break connection, but unlock. Okay, we got to break connections. And then unlock. There we go. Now we can move them. Because I was just going to move that to the side for now, in case I maybe need something from it in a minute. But now we can take this that we've combined, and we're going to... It's a good habit to delete your history, which we only have this much. It's not a whole lot. My ear keeps popping. I'm trying to pop. It's been happening on, like, every time I stream. So now we just, uh, I got it set up to do duplicate special, but you can do it down here. Check the option, bo option box, put it to negative one, and then do it. And there you go. Then once you've done it once, you can hold control shift D and it will duplicate it. So if I say I undid that, and you want to duplicate something to mirror it, just control shift D. And as long as the pivot point was in the center, it will mirror like that. So now, the quickest way to do this is to just hold shift right click, combine, and then shift right click again to separate because they were, they had internal links and if you don't do something about that you'll end up with, um, uh, this one will be inverted, invisible because it was negative on the X, blah blah blah. So now we're going to just recombine and G to repeat whatever your action was. And that was shift right click also, by the way. Hold shift, right click. You get different options than if you just hold right click. And if you hold, if you have a selection like faces and you hold control, you get, again, different options. All right, so enough tutorial, right? Let's do some stuff. Okay, so I still have that on reference. Um, reference means you can't select it. And, oh, at this point, I do want to delete the history, for sure. And then I can actually go and name them when I'm done. And that, that looks about right, so we'll just keep moving up the body. I don't know if I want to keep this. Let's see. And the pivot point's down there, so to get it up there, you just center pivot. Which, I guess I'd have to make a whole video about this, but... You can hold control shift and click any of these and you'll see it goes to the shelf that you're working with. So I just make my own shelf. And then if you want to delete it, you just uh, middle mouse drag it to the garbage. All right, so we center the pivot. Now we can stretch it out a little. It's meant for that knife, but I don't think I really want that knife. Hmm. I don't know if I'll really use this piece. Eh. It'd be kind of a pain to fit it, but it might might be kind of nice to just break up the visual flow of because these legs, I mean, it's super basic garbage. Neat. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Say neat. Just kind of get it somewhere. I'm gonna grab this. This. What else is attached there? You, come on to you, isolate, oh, there's one. How's it going over there, Jake? K, 
kicking butt. Nope, this one did not come with some stuff. Oh, the joy of that, huh? I swear that's like all I do some days is just bring, bring, and bring. It would have it would have made my life easier if it allowed it. it I'd have to change my server structure and I really don't want to do that now. If it allowed what? Timer um, thing? No, call in the base events from server side. Oh god, yeah. That's I'm glad you told me that. I didn't realize you're talking about the thing where you put the extension in the lib folder? Oh no, like you know when you call to the do a call to the server and you have the handler that handles your request that you send. Yeah. Yeah, I wanted to call one of them from the server. Mm. Being sent from the player. I see, I see. But you, you can do it, but you have to add them all to like your zone and zone process. No, not for me. Hmm. That doesn't sound fun, yeah. I don't need it. It just means I have to retype out that and put it in a function. Which part? Uh, uh, just the timer, because right now you only get the timer updated to start the timer on the client side if you join mm. after the timer starts. Oh right, yeah, that yeah, that's the, the tricky bit. Get it. Yeah. Oh, the fun of synchronizing, huh? That great fun. I'm surprised Damn. like it even worked. I mean, it only took me what a day. <laughs> it, it what? It took me a whole day just to get that time and work on it. I believe that. <laughs> it took me like four hours yesterday, I think, last night. I don't know how many hours. You lose track, but just to do like one simple extension quest for, you know, from the full starting from C Sharp and then going to Java and then doing whatever's needed and then sending that back to the client and then filtering it out. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it takes some time. Yeah, yeah, I think you've done really, really well with that. Just making it a uh, full server, server authoritative, right? That's what we call yeah. that, right? Just switch the fits. Authoritative server. Oh, right. I'm not list exit. What are you talking about? <laughs> I really am, though, so you, you know, I'm not being rude. I really get a little bit of that. Like sometimes I'll I'll start typing the letter of the word that's next in the sentence that I'm trying to type. I don't know. I don't know what's up with that. I think it's all a complete one. Yeah, exactly. See this piece. This piece is cool. Let's let's mess with this one. Center pivot, and then we can hold V to hold the middle mouse, and then snap, and then frame with F. What if we put it like a knee thingy majigger? That looks kind of cool right there, too. It's throwing me off seeing that crap floating up there, though. Let's get all this where it's supposed to be. Oh, actually, how high is that off of my shoulders? Whoa, that's way high. Eek. I'm gonna have to really tweak this. It's like the the waist and the buttocks area is fitting pretty good with what I had, but then the torso is really long on their guy, or mine's really short on my guy. I tried to make him like you know in art you do uh, your height of your character you're drawing is eight and a half head lengths tall. And I tried to stick to that, but yeah, whatever. So maybe I know we'll duplicate that. So we got a backup. I'll push that over there. Now I'll get 
crazy with this one and try to push and pull it into place because I need the this line right here Oops. that basically needs to fit around God, it's so close actually it needs to be right where um, right where this belt is right on the top edge of it so that's per close ah but that fits so good dang it um because then if you put on a different chess piece that's not meant to go with this one it's gonna cut in and whatever which maybe i don't care let's uh let's start by separating these i guess back faces let's turn on yeah, I think I can tell he did no he didn't we can turn on back face calling right here -ish. shading there we go now we can see what's going on um dang mm, maybe okay wait go with hold Q left click reflection on that will do symmetrical adjustments it won't do mesh edits though let's go really big and see if we can push that down see how far down we gotta go and let's grab Might be able to make that fit, huh? Thought I was just gonna delete that part. Might be able to use it. So let's deal with this chunk. And I wanna select all of it, but not this. So hold control and deselect. Yeah, it's like you're in your chair. Ah. Thanks, buddy. Somebody's paying attention. <laughs> I've got a second monitor you can scroll on. You can, uh -huh. Well, no, I do. It's just I've got like five things open over here, too. Um, yeah, let me arrange this a little so I can see that. Yo, okay, so hi, hi, hi. Nice character. Oh, thanks. It's partially mine. Half of it's mine. <laughs> and. You want a gothic dress. Hmm. I like it. I just, I suck at doing dresses. I tried doing robes a couple times. Uh, no, I didn't make this. I made the underlying stuff. And what I'm trying to achieve here, Danny, is just what I call kit bashing. It's, it is kit bashing. It's just kind of, I don't know. Some people might say, oh, that's not exactly what that is. But you take two things, two assets, and you make a new one out of them is what I'm doing so kind of just uh, taking a basic here I'll show you again so I found these cool this cool uh, what I thought was cool this guy here and I wanted to use these pieces and come up with my own little set so the way I'm, I'm planning on doing things is I made this really really basic armor set here and it's meant to be like an underlying set and then you just build onto it you put additional pieces and straps and belts and bandoliers whatever so that's what we're going for and I think it'll work really well with this stuff okay so now that that's not like throwing me off being way up in the air oh I like that too let's put that center pivot Put that on here and see what we think about that. F to frame. We'll have to do some pushing and pulling. Right now, I'll just scale it up a bit. I don't want it too big though. It looks like it needs to rotate a hair. And then, yeah, let's just go with some soft select. Maybe it was better the way it was. No, it just doesn't really. 
just go face mode. And we'll grab that one, this one, and this one. And then hold B and go down and fall off. So this will try to, it'll affect the yellow the greatest and the red the least, or black, pink, whatever it is. So I'm going to try to just kind of cover up what's there. I want to try to match the original shape because that's the shape of, the, of my character. So you know, we got to get it close. It doesn't have to be perfect because obviously I'm going to delete the faces behind it. We don't want, you know, unused topology. So now let's grab this and that one. I'm kind of just guessing, but you can see with the x-ray. Actually, this is the one I was thinking about. You can see what you're getting if you do that. Let me turn off wireframe. And we'll just pull that down a bit. And pull for a little. Good enough. Yeah, it fits pretty good, really. And save scene because things crash all the time. Dude, that just fits the shoulder, man. That's just cool. Like, they had it around his, uh, you know, right here, which is cool, too, but I think that's that I can make a cool-ass shoulder out of that. But with shoulders, shoulders and helmets and weapons, I make them as, like, a standalone object, kind of like this. And just, I don't try to attach them perfectly. So, like, if I did this as a shoulder... The only way that's going to work is if it's fully skinned. And if it's not skinned, then his arm's going to be down here, and you're going to have this chunk just sitting out, poking way out there. So you got to kind of treat him differently. Oh, you know what I should have done? When I had that selection. Let's do that again. We'll grab... I want these parts on their own layer. So I just, this is my approach. I just draw a box around what I want, and then hold control, draw a box to take out what I don't want. And then we'll put that on a new layer. Right click, add selected, and then you can control it separately. All right. I think this is gonna work out pretty good. Try duplicating that center pivot. Kind of seems like it'll go better right there, huh? Let's x ray for a second. Oh, yeah, it's way too small. For this guy's arm. And then I'll have to do some self select crap there, but for now. Nah, I better do it equally in the center. I don't know if I'm going to keep that, but kind of kind of breaks up the flow of things. I like that. Hmm. You know what? This piece just wasn't even there. You can just kind of... Oh, that looks weird without it. Don't know what I'm, what I'm going to do with that. But this, I was thinking, would make a really good... about I, I think I'm gonna have to cut it what is this double click your tools over here and you get the settings uh, local world oh I want to on object no I don't that doesn't matter mm. the rotation doesn't quite match what I'm seeing so sometimes I'll just uh, get it pointing forward as best I can and about where I want it, and then I'll just uh, freeze the transform to get these more in line with that spike. Which is a little off, but whatever. I guess it would be a little to the side, and then freeze again. There you go. So, I want something to cover that. Let's try scale. Totally look cool. Boot too. If you hold uh, J 
you can rotate in increments. So I'm gonna do that so it's more, I can get 90 a lot easier. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna have to modify this piece. Either cut some faces or something to get what I want. Oh, what if we did this? Oops. Hmm. Let's do like like it would make more sense for it to be the other direction still. Uh, guess I could invert that. I really like those teeth coming off. It's cool. Well, let's just get crazy with it. Um, Selected so that goes with that. And then let's say face mode and just grab. Now, this piece I don't think actually it might be symmetrical. No, it doesn't look like it's perfectly symmetrical. So I'm going to turn off symmetry because I don't think it's going to help on this one. We'll just kind of guesstimate. Actually, let's try an edge loop. And then we'll convert that. See, and this is why you want to work with quads. Ooh, but we didn't get the whole loop. Quads uh, are way easier. If you have triangles, you can't select the whole loop. That's annoying. Okay, two faces. Now, let's do a control right click grow, G to repeat a few times, and a couple more. And then I'll, I'll hold control to get rid of some of these that I didn't want. Sometimes it's easier that way, but to each of them. And then control shift to add. Uh, that's pretty close. Because I'm going to use soft select anyways. Let's go bigger radius so it's not as noticeable, but I want to fan that out. We're going to have to go really big, and then, that's not bad, and then control right click to shrink, and shrink that, go a little further, shrink again, and, yeah, might be what I want now, get the leg better. Something like that. <laughs> Tricky part is going to be making this fit the female. Oh, hey, you know what? Let's duplicate this too for fun and see what it looks like on the side. This piece is kind of awkward. It's like a, it's like a very weird shape, but I like it. Uh, I kind of want to like cut it in half and use different bits of it. Hmm. What I was originally thinking was. Um, a kneecap put uh, more like this direction, but I'm going to have to edit the crap out of it to get that to fit the way I want it, I think. See, like, 
get those pointed straight up so like if you need somebody in the base with that I can just push and pull that crap, but mainly I'm just looking at these pieces. Oops. So maybe cut that, move the horn around. Let me try that. Grow selection, G to repeat a couple. Times and let's try. Ooh, yeah, that's gonna happen. Oops. Probably making a mess out of this thing, but that's okay. It happens. Actually, let's shrink that one more time. Yeah. Pivot point's way too low, so you, if you hold D, you can move the pivot point. Get it closer to where you want it. You can actually snap it, but there wasn't really a good vertice to snap it to or anything. Oh. Ish. Let's see. It's more what I had in mind, but now this is all wonky. We'll just get crazy with it though. Man, modeling is so tedious, huh? That almost is what I want, sort of, kind of. Let's get these out the way. Let's see, that one, I, I'm going to freeze transform on that so I can move it wherever I want. That just zeroes out all your values over here. And then you can push it over here, and then if you're like, oh, no, I want it right back exactly where it was, you can just put a zero in there. And there you go. Hmm. Hmm. Oh shit. I can do this too. Try some of that. What? What happened? I haven't even added the currency per kill. Oh. What is the currency per kill? Ten. Ten dollars a kill. Fifteen. Oh yeah, yeah. A headshot. Well, but. An extra five if it's a headshot. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I remember now. Actually, let's just do this. I'll just add it to the options. Yeah. I'm not even doing it in the streets, I don't think, at the moment. I mean, they're like. Then later. Hmm. Do something.
almost doing something I thought I had in mind, but Pushed and pulled the crap out of that piece. Okay, now that looks out of place. So, pull that back. It's almost, it's almost something. What if this? Let's just put this over here for sure. Let's see what we got. Kinda, I think if I just keep pushing and pulling this, it'll work. Um, fine, you got some time to spend making armor. I'm not bothering you. I know, Zergo. God. Nah, dude, it, it's a good thing. Like, I was reading about the globalization issue last night, and uh, I was thinking, God, could that be it? Because I didn't, uh, th it never occurred to me that, you know, some countries use commas instead of decimals and yeah that totally makes sense so the data you sent me from the log that was perfect thank you sir it was good stuff Ooh, wow look at that i totally made a mess of this but i can fix that Okay, so I don't know. I think I think I could make this work, but this is definitely taking more time than what I was hoping. That's I mean, it's a really cool piece he's got there. I don't even think it really fits the hand on the original, but it's very interesting looking. These should be somewhere else. Let's move them like that. Definitely cool. See, that just looks weird even on that. Oh, he's got to go. Okay. Yeah, he probably will find some find some weird bugs. That one took me off guard, though, man. Like, I really screwed up some things in January. Everybody was getting these crazy high DPS weapons and ugh, sucked. For me. Everybody else kind of worked out good for you guys. It's not fair, man. God, that, actually, you know what? That would fit the foot probably really well. Slap it on there and bend it down a little. That works pretty good, huh? I'm not going to stream too long. I just figured I'd kind of show a little bit of what goes into this type of stuff. Because, hell, if you stream... I mean, there's some guys that 
guys, girls, people that stream uh, this type of stuff, and it's it's it goes into like multiple segments. Like you don't just you know hop on and do a two-hour stream and yeah, there we go. I made some armor and it's in the game. Yeah. This I would say is one of the hardest bits of development. What do you think, Jake? Well, God, I can't say it's the hardest. I don't know. What do you think is the hardest thing in development? Uh, stay in focus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm really bad at that. Especially if, <laughs> if I'm trying to stream. Oh, God. Not going to happen. But, you know, I got an excuse. I'm trying to stream, right? It's, it's good enough. That's an excuse. Oh, can I get that edge loop? gets hard at this point on the app because it's so close like it's just all the codes are there it's just throwing stuff together but it's working out how i'm gonna throw it all together yeah the simple yeah stuff that dude longer. that stuff literally keeps me up at night like it used to yeah you know what i mean it's <laughs> It's hard not to. AM after dreaming about how to fix it, and it's like, oh, yeah, I'm going back. Get on the PC, do it, and then go back to bed. Uh huh. Yep. Once you got a good idea, man, it just eats at you, and you're like, ah, I, did, I gotta try it. I gotta try it. I think that'll work. Yeah, so from now on, what I do is I'll make sure I go to bed with zero bugs or errors. Mm hmm. Yes, well, I. Probably loads of bugs, but errors wise. If I can't see an error, I totally get it. I totally get it. My friends, family, people, they don't they don't understand that, but it's like I tell them I have to get to a stopping point. You just you cannot sleep if you don't. It is very God, it's not even difficult, it's just damn near impossible. Hmm, I don't know what I'm doing with that pace really, but Kind of just dinking around, I suppose, but something, something's happening here. I think it's all pretty much pointless now, isn't it? I might as well show you cash they've earned rather than the score. What do you mean? Well, I've changed cool. the system to be like cash based. Like, obviously, when you kill someone, you get paid for the kill, sort of thing. Hmm. Rather than adding score, I may as well add. Well, rather than showing the score, I may as well show the cash that you've earned that match. Hmm, gotcha. Yeah, I mean, that makes that makes sense. Oh, yeah. And safety. Huh. Man, I haven't even played with this fun piece here. This spine. It's going to be interesting. All right, now this mess. We gotta do something about. I guess I'm kind of just blocking this out, but I will put this together in a usable way. I just uh, wanted to see what I could do with it when, you know, kind of visually blocking out, you know. Maybe so that needs to be like way tighter than. Let me just squish it down a bit more. So, I guess if I made this, this, as one piece, then we'd have a shoulder. Oh, he didn't even paint that. Eek. He just projected it, I guess. Hmm. You know, I'm just gonna, mm, oh gosh, if I combine that, let's put it on a layer. So now I can hide that this to fit a little better, center pivot, squish that in, let's get it a little closer, I don't know if I'm going to use this part actually, and 
worst part is I gotta do all this again to fit the female. So much freaking work. I was gonna say bloody. Is that is that very offensive in England? I mean, is it really? Bloody. Yeah. I, I just don't. I, I've heard that's a swear word, but you know, like what? Really? You don't get offended when you hear it, do you? Is it, is it something an old lady would say? An old grandma? <laughs> uh, yeah, probably. Alright. Yeah. You guys have much different... Like, um... You know, we call the C word here in Utah, but... You guys just throw that word around. <laughs> it kills me. One day I need to go visit England. Yeah, it's, it trips me out every time I hear you guys say it. Yeah, well, not you. People, you don't really people say get it. offended by that. But. They do? Some people do, yeah. Because hmm. that one I could understand being offensive. I couldn't, but I can't see. It's just another word for hmm. something. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I don't get the whole swear words. You know what I mean? It's bad words. Yeah, I know. It's dumb, right? Oh, hey. Look I, mean, at I won't allow my kids to say it. But that's yeah, and that's kind of weird, too, if you think about it. It was ingrained to me that I wasn't allowed to say it. You know, growing up. So. Mm -hmm. It's always been kind of weird to me that we... Uh, we say words and then yet our kids aren't supposed to say them. I don't know swear words in, in themselves are kind of dumb just the idea there's these words you're not supposed to say them but in other languages you know like shih tzu that's not offensive but you did just say that word and I don't know it's a goofy thing I saw something they were talking about like how the origin of curse words, they were l literally meant to curse the person, or something like that. Yeah. I could see where that would maybe make more sense. Why the hell is that? Ah, I didn't have it on object. No wonder. Dude, this is like the most awkward piece, because it's cool, but it doesn't really fit anything. I wanted to maybe put it on the back of your elbow, you know, because that would look pretty badass. Like that, but then this weird horn. Maybe I should just delete the horn. Seal it up. Uh, oh, no. And it doesn't fit for shit on anything. Clunky. That's what that is. Maybe I should... I don't even know, man. It's a pretty big item. This piece? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I mean, a lot more polys than... Well, I mean, I guess... Mm, you could go a little lower. The size of it because of where it's... Where you want to place it. Right, right. That's what is bugging me. Every time I try to place it somewhere, it's like I gotta do a ton of this crap. Pushing and pulling to get it to even remotely fit, you know. And uh, it's just contorting the crap out of it. The texture's gonna be all sorts of bleh. But yeah, I was kind of thinking something like that. But that, that horn, that is just going the wrong damn direction, you know. So let's try this again. We'll go edge loop this time. Try it the other direction and everything works okay. Oh wait. Let's do face, because that would be easy. Take it that way. Shrink that down a lot. And then go whoop. Actually, I want it to be more like... Uh, Brace face. Get that point a little sharper, maybe. Oh, my God. Literally. Oh, for I'll 
and sat here staring at this doing other stuff and there's supposed to be sorting out the time. Oh, damn it. That's so what the streamer will do. No, not looking at you, like even just stuff on my server doing other gigs. Oh, I meant me just yammer yammering in your ear. Oh, no. But, but yeah, we, I do that too. Like, you get going on one thing and something else grabs your attention. And you're like, oh, okay, I got to fix that. And then you forgot about the first thing you were doing. Um, okay, let's try grow one more, then soften. Yeah, this is totally just something you should just cut off and use as an insert, which that's actually not a bad idea. Save that back. Grow selection. And then we'll say shift right click uh, duplicate faces. Go to object mode, control box, center pivot, and remove that. Um, hmm. What do you think, though? I think these are these are some good pieces to work with, huh? I would say. Looks like it's going to take a lot more work to get this to something usable. I mean, the main thing is I just got to cinch up these these little openings and crap. But uh, what do you think, Jake? You like it? Anybody in chat got an opinion? Yeah, sure. I think it, I think it's kind of cool. This this piece, you know, that's just dumb. Let's just say that's not gonna go there. But I think uh, I could keep. Let's just uh, move that over there. Like, see, from here, the the boot kind of reads good. It looks like it bulges out a little too much still. So that needs to do something different. And maybe just push it back. But I like the the color, kind of the this like a spine going up the leg. That's a pretty cool idea. And then the leg here looks pretty barren and boring. This is gonna be a pain in the ass to get to fit the waistline. I think this is pretty cool, and I th I know I can make the shoulder look pretty cool. When all else fails, just throw more bones on it. That's what you do. Now that uh, I know I can do something like that look pretty sweet. It's way too big. We gotta. But anyways, um, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Do you like it, Chris? All right. I think it, I think it's worth putting some time in then. You know what? Hell, that's what I should do. I should just take one of these, split it apart, because they're each individual little objects. A little too high poly, Jesus. But uh, do that and go down the front of the uh, calf the way I, because I I just wanted like a, a spine looking thing. Oh man, yeah, that's that'd work way better. Oh wait, uh, say that again. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, you could, um, I think it would really degrade this particular piece. I don't know. Eh, I don't know. But yeah, that's, that's pretty tight poly unnecessarily. Okay, um, well anywho, I just kind of wanted to show what my approach has been for armor. 
and well everything really this is as a solo developer this is how i'm approaching things and just get what you can get put it together get things going just put it in the game just you know you gotta you gotta be more productive because you don't have a team to sit and make all the stuff for you so i like this approach and what i want to do is get like a library of parts like maybe this was a piece that i just pulled out of the library and slapped it on there and maybe this was a piece and maybe this fur you know and and just you just get like a collection of metal plates and bones and spikes and leather and just kind of start stacking things until you get something cool that's what i want but uh, the spikes on the back of the arm would envision them pointing the other direction, perhaps. Huh, let me see. Those ones? Or, oh, you, do you mean these? Because, yeah, that would totally stab you in the back of your own arm from time to time. These ones, I don't know. I like that. I could see it going either way. I have some that kind of go forward already, so I wanted ones that went back. I don't know where those other ones are. I think they're... I just saw them a minute ago, but they're not really that much different, I don't think. Uh, spiked leather. Yeah, these ones. No, not that. That's crap. I need to get rid of that. And be this one. This one? Yeah, that. That may be hard to see, but see how those spikes are going forward? I don't know if that's what you meant, but... Kind of like, like that. So I already had that, and I thought, well, let's do something a little different. Um... Okay, so yeah. Maybe I'll, I'll work on this a little further, get a better idea of what I want to do. And then before I finalize it, and skin it to the skeleton. I'll, I'll do that in the next stream, hopefully. I know I gotta do quite a bit of work on some other things, and who knows what friggin' Zergo is gonna break again. <laughs> that guy. <laughs> the boot going. Oh, yeah, the boot. Uh, it's, uh, I don't know what to do with the boot, man. Um, I wanted to. Oh, these? Yeah, shoot. I don't know. I'm not sure. But yeah, okay. I'm going to I'm going to call it right here. So, thanks for hanging out, guys. I'll come back with a little bit more of a plan on this piece. And we'll see what uh what we come up with. But yeah. See you guys. Bye.